Take us to South America, where more than a million people are expected to demonstrate in Venezuela's capital Caracas tomorrow to put pressure on the country's National Electoral Board and allow Venezuelans to undertake a recall referendum to oust President Nicolas Maduro. The protest was called by opposition leaders in the country. And uh, to tell us a little bit more about that, let's join our Latin America correspondent Juan Carlos Lamas, who joins us now from Caracas. Thanks very much for joining us uh, on the program. Um, just explain to us what this march is all about. What has caused so many people to want to demonstrate in this way? Well, for months now, the Venezuelan have been getting up before dawn in order to wait outside grocery stores and pharmacies that most of the time have no basic food staples or basic medicines on the shelves. With the plunge in the price of oil, the people of this oil-rich nation um, are struggling to live with skyrocketing level of inflation, uh, rolling power blackouts, and also water shortages. The crisis has reached a cross-border where thousands of Venezuelans have crossed into neighborhoods in Colombia and searching for food and other basic staples. This march was called by the opposition uh, leaders, as you said, because uh, late on March they asked uh, the National Electoral Council here in Venezuela uh, to go under a recall referendum to us President Nicolas Maduro. And since then, they haven't received any response from uh, the National Electoral Council. That's the reason why opposition leaders decided to call all the Venezuelans that don't support the government of President Nicolas Maduro to take to the streets. As for them, uh, for the opposition, the only way of getting an answer from the National Electoral Board is to take them to the streets. And they will continue to doing it, sorry, uh, until they get um, a positive response by the National Electoral Board here in Venezuela. What's the president's uh, response been to these threats and this pressure that he is obviously feeling? Yes, of course. Um, uh, late um, during the last weeks, at least two uh, opposition leaders have been in prison so far, and people are both afraid and nervous. President Nicolas Maduro said, like um, they won't, um, he won't allow any uh, any violence in the process, and he also called his supporters to take to the streets of Caracas in order to show the opposition that they are not the only one who have uh, a support by the Venezuelan people. Uh, but Ban Ki-moon says that there's a budding humanitarian crisis in Venezuela. Now the question is, um, is it all of Maduro's doing or even if the next president, whoever that might be, let's say he gets recalled, will he be able to fix some of the issues that uh, Venezuela is facing at this time? Well, according to um, uh, opposition leaders, they believe like in three years with a different government and different political and economical uh, policies, there will be a big difference here in Venezuela. But the thing is, if you go to the streets and you ask uh, regular Venezuelans uh, whether if they believe with a new government there will be any sh uh, change in the crisis going on in this country, they might say that they believe it might not happen. But um, the opposition is pushing so hard to go on the recall referendum because they know that according to the uh, constitution of Venezuela, they have until January 10th, 2017 to ask President Nicolas Maduro because if not, any recall vote will pass power to Vice President Aristotle Isuri till 2019 when there is going to be new presidential elections. And the opposition, they just don't want that they, uh, because they know, they, they say it's a continuation of the same policies that put Venezuela in this position in the very first place. But uh, the opposition, they strongly believe with a new government and with new policies in economic and politics, there could be a positive change for Venezuela. All right. Very briefly, though, is this unprecedented? They're saying about a million people might uh, turn out tomorrow. Have there ever been these kinds of numbers before in a, in a march such as this? Yes, of course. Um, um 
President Nicolás Maduro, actually, yesterday, he was speaking to the nation through live television, and he said, like, that he doesn't want any violence, uh, and he reminded us, the, and he reminded all Venezuelans what happened on April 2002. Of course, there has been a protest, uh, not only here in Caracas, but across Venezuela, where uh, those protests have been big. Uh, the opposition, it is not uh, certain the amount of people who will be present tomorrow here in Caracas, Margin, but they are expecting um, about one million people to march here in the capital. And uh, it's also important to know that this is not the only protest that is going on. According to the Observatory of Violence here in Venezuela, at around 300 protests have taken place here in Venezuela and in different states. And the opposition, they weigh that this one could be a, the biggest one and the definitive for the National Electoral Board and the government to realize that the situation in Venezuela has reached into a point where uh, they can no longer uh, stand it. All right, and that's where we'll leave it. Muchas gracias. Uh, Juan Carlos Lamas, who's joining us live from Caracas, thank you very much indeed for your time. Francis? Well, it's